But Squish Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, a guy who believes in you and is rooting for you every single day. You know, I'm excited, man. Today, we got a treat for you guys. All of you controller pros out there, listen, today, we're going to teach you how to master claw control so that you can get easier wins and become a faster and more efficient Fortnite player. So without further ado, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? Come on. It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and uh, let's get into this, man. We're going to see how we can make those scores pop. All right, so the first thing that you guys need to know on your quest to master claw is really understanding like what it is and how it can benefit you. Okay, so if you're in a controller, then claw can really help you become a much more versatile player so that you can perform actions faster and react to enemies around you more efficiently than you ever could before. All you need to do is just position your index finger in a claw formation and lay it on your X, Y, A, and B buttons. For PlayStation, this is gonna be your square, triangle, circle, and X buttons. So the purpose of this is really to make sure everything is within reach so that there is less Less delay between you and deciding to perform an action and just getting your finger where it needs to be to input the command. Not only that, but with this playstyle, your thumb should never have to leave the sticks, allowing you to maximize the effectiveness of your movement. Fortnite is an input heavy game, and to go pro at it, you need to know how to aim and build, edit, and track your opponent sometimes all at once. You're gonna be saving so much time, man, between actions, and anyone who plays competitive understands that these brief seconds can actually affect the outcome of a fight. With enough practice, I mean, you're gonna be able to stand up to each even the mightiest keyboard players, I'm telling you. Let me ask you this, you guys need more help training? Click on the link below and visit proguides.com. You're gonna be able to connect with our expert level coaches who can really kick you into gear. Learn landing strategies, master your building techniques, and learn how to put the squeeze on your opponents. Let's just see how we can help you become the pro that you wanna be. All right, so how do we master claw? Good question. Well, like any new form of control, you're going to need practice. But it's not just about knowing the mechanics, but also knowing how to land on those buttons without having to think about it. Fingers can be very different, and how you rest them plays a huge factor on how you're gonna ease into it. Sometimes you're gonna need a little bit more precision, while other times the weight does all the work for you. I mean, luckily, it all comes down to muscle memory, so repetition is definitely the key to success. Now, you might find claw to be difficult at first, but it's definitely rewarding if you stay motivated and practice with persistence. All right, so before we jump into training, we highly suggest that you alter the tilt of your hand. Normally, both hands will be tilted inwards. However, this makes claw difficult. Your right hand should be wrapped a bit more around the back of your controller, and this is gonna make it easier for your index to reach where it needs to be. We suggest practicing on maps meant for building speed first. Let's try edit courses for starters, all right? Editing is like a really big part of becoming a pro, and if you're going to be playing claw, guys, you need to get used to using the index finger to bring up the building menu quickly. Another important skill that you need to master is reloading and switching weapons. All right, so we suggest using aim training courses you can get accustomed to your new hand formation. Eventually, you're gonna wanna make sure the courses you run have a little of both, all right? Editing and shooting. Finally, once you think you got the hand of just landing those buttons, we highly suggest you start training by doing 1v1s with other players and just slowly move up towards zone wars. You know, most often, the times that you're gonna be using claw the most is going to be when you're engaging with an opponent, right? So expect to use it heavily during the early game if you find your landing spot contested. You're gonna also be using it heavily during the late game when everybody is just trying to get to high ground, you know, stay in zone and really just get those refresh kills. All right, now Claw is pretty goaded. However, there are also some alternatives that you can use to further enhance your experience. All right, so one of the main reasons for using Claw is being able to hit more buttons quicker. I mean, this has always been the benefit of playing on keyboard. You know, everything is just more customizable, right? But for controllers, getting paddles is the go-to alternative to boost performance. Paddles can be found on special scuffed controllers. One such example is the Xbox Elite controller that has those neat paddles on the back. Another option is to obtain paddles separately and just installing them on your current compatible controller. You know, whatever the case, paddles are good, but that doesn't mean that you need to completely just stop using claw if you get them. Essentially, you know, anyone can go pro using any controls if they try hard enough but it's just being able to do what you're comfortable with that can really take you far. Using paddles in combination with claw, I mean, it gives you just even more ways to customize your controls to fit your needs. And this is gonna ensure that almost every finger on your right hand is gonna be actively doing something during the match. So don't rule it out. Okay guys, now for the question of the day. Bunch of question, you guys ready for this? What's your controller preference? Use a standard controller, scuff, PlayStation, Xbox, leave your comments down below.
All right, guys, so right now there are many different controller types to look at, and uh, each one is just gonna slightly alter and how you approach Claude. Like, if you guys wanna become a controller pro, then you need to choose the right equipment for the job, and most importantly, man, know how to use it. Like, if you're playing on an Xbox controller, then you have the right setup to do a standard right-hand claw. This means positioning your right index finger on the buttons while positioning your left hand in a standard formation. So another alternate style is double claw, and this is easier on PlayStation controllers. So due to the positioning of the D buttons on the PlayStation controller, you can do the same hand positioning on your left hand as you would your right. If you guys try doing this on Xbox controller, you might find yourself having a bad time. <laughs> you know, using your index finger to control your movement can be challenging. Then again, we've seen people do crazy things to boost their skills. Now, like, there is a slight difference between PS4 controllers and PS5 controllers. If you've had the pleasure of just handling them both, you might notice that the PS5 controller sticks out a little on the top while the PS4 controller is a little bit more flat. The PS5 controller is just going to slightly elevate your index finger fingers a bit more due to the curve to be prepared if you're planning to jump from PS4 to PS5 controller. I mean, it could just throw you off slightly at first if you're not expecting it, but other than that, I mean, it's still suitable for double claw. Not to mention, PS5 controllers have the special benefit of being compatible with gyro controls, so just make that what you will. All right, so one thing that you gotta know if you want to be a pro controller player is that you need to find the right settings, guys. You know, what controller, you're gonna wanna make sure that your settings are optimized for this and not for keyboard. Remember, these two settings are very different and what works for keyboard doesn't necessarily work for controllers. All right, so take a look at players who are used to playing claws such as Day or Faceway. Find their settings and just try them on for comfort. You most likely won't be able to use the settings and automatically become good, but it does give you guys an idea of what to expect and how you can just just adjust them based on your own preference and capabilities. So just try to aim for smoothness and you can land those edits easier. All right guys, now when you're playing claw, there is one thing that might be running through your head. How do I prevent my hand from cramping up? Ooh. That's tough. Well, we got some good news for you. All right, your hand shouldn't suffer any long-term issues from playing claw as long as you know how to take care of yourself. Like in fact, most of the time, man, if you feel some discomfort, it's just going to be when you're first starting to play claw. This is because your hand isn't used to the positioning just yet, but just give it some time and you're gonna start seeing yourself get more and more accustomed to it. Remember guys, stretching your hand before a practice session is just a great way to increase your reaction time and have nimble fingers. This goes not just for claw players, but any pro player on any control scheme. I mean. Don't forget, also, just don't forget to take breaks every now and then, and don't overwork that hand either. All right, guys, let's talk about some frequent mistakes that you might make while learning claw. All right, for starters, one of the more common mistakes you're definitely gonna make is moving fingers in directions you aren't supposed to move them towards. I'm talking about moving your thumb towards the jump button or just suddenly moving that index finger up towards the trigger or RB. These are common mistakes, but it's not your fault, all right? I mean, it's, it's just how the brain works. Like, if you're already accustomed to normal controller uses, then this is gonna happen due to the muscle memory. And this is why we recommend doing an aim training and edit courses first. So you can just build this muscle memory quickly and you won't have this problem that can leave you open for elimination in arena. Also guys, try not to change from claw just because there's no action happening around you. The best way to learn claw is just to keep doing it consistently. I believe in you, you can do it. All right, before we wrap things up today, don't forget to visit proguys.com for some expert level coaching. Bunch of Crest Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. That's going to be it for today. Remember, I'm your number one fan. Don't give up. I know it's frustrating. I get the journey. You know, anything that you learn, anything that's out of your comfort zone, it's going to be annoying. And you're going to just want to quit. I get it. But just stick with it. If you want to be the best, you're going to be the best. Connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Remember to practice, practice, practice. And practice makes perfect. It really, really does. And uh, you do this, you're going to find good results. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all the new content coming out. We'll see you soon. Peace.